Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong are pressure repairings. And what is pressure repairing? I have here regular radial bearing and then on the right side I have the pressure or the axial bearing. And they are made for different purposes. So the radial force is like in this direction and I think these are way more common. Of course, these can also take small axial load, which is like uh, in this direction. But if you have a huge axial load, then you are going to just strip this into parts. It's going to break. And you have to use different type of bearing. And that's why we have the axial bearing. Okay, and what's inside of one of these? It's uh, pretty simple. We have the two like cups that hold the like balls between them and then we have the ball assembly. And I think these are in general much stronger because here all the balls carry the load at all the time. On axial bearings most of the time most of the balls don't do shit. So I'm going to think that these are extremely extremely hard. So we are going to start from the small size and keep crushing as long as they explode. And I have also the huge one as usual. And I think that the end of the video is going to be pretty goddamn dangerous because I think that when this explodes, all the balls go like that. Okay, and here is the filming setup. I'm going to again use the chronos as in like the uh, camera on the best position. So we can get the nicest high speed and we got the, also the live view from here. And then I have FX3 as a secondary camera. Then we have of course the safety box because this is going to be bad. And the force sensor under the box. So we are going to see how strong they are. What's the like idea of the video. Okay, here we go with the first one. Uh, I forgot to measure it, but according to reminings, it's this diameter and I didn't check the catalog for like the rated load to keep this more interesting. So I have no idea how strong these are, but my guess is for this one, five tons and we are going to see stuff fly. Okay, these are strong. How bad is going to be the explosion? Holy shit, these are strong. What the hell? Oh, I think... I think we are in trouble. <laughs> that was tiny one, it was 26 tons. How in the hell we are going to get for... <laughs> <laughs> we are going to get this one, cross the big one. <laughs> I think we are not going to get... These are so much stronger than I ever thought. Let's have a look on this. Uh, luckily, or unluckily, luckily for me and unluckily for you, these don't seem to be super dangerous. Yeah, pretty mild shrapnel. Uh, but these are so strong that I think I have to maybe Maybe switch to hardened tools. Let's have a look how what's, what's the damage on these tools. Okay, next size. The previous one was 24 millimeter and this is 30. So no much larger and I have again two on top of each other. So there is more shrapnel, hopefully. And the tools survive. I thought that it's going to sink, but it didn't sink. I think because the surfaces are flat here, not ball, like on like bearing ball. So tools are just fine. And I think this is around uh, 50 tons. Okay. Not sure where it is any stronger. 33, so no, no, no huge difference. And I saw some sparks on the high speed, that's always good. Okay, it's really, really fast. Seems that again it's the uh, 
one of the cups that is holding the ball and not the balls themselves. Yeah, next size. Okay, then the next one. This is 48 millimeters. So 50% more. I think we can break this. It's going to be close to 100 tons. Okay, that was surprisingly weak. How much was it? 36. And let's have a look on the high speed. Bam! The top bearing just disappears. Okay, let's open the thing and have a look. Okay, and then the next size. And this is very different thing. Firstly, much bigger. I had to change the bigger tool also to fit it. And then there is now two layers of balls in one bearing. So this is just one bearing. Previously we had two for more shrapnel. But if this goes, we definitely have shrapnel this time. And then it's, it's much beefier construction in overall. And I have to say that I'm not sure will this break or not. But now we are going to see. And I'm really scared of this one. I don't like this at all. Here we go. Not good. Okay. That was a huge explosion. We have good dent on the polycarbonate. How much was it? 70 tons. <laughs> I think we are not going to get bigger one today done, but that was a good. Okay, that was maybe even a bit too much for me. The, some of the shrapnel went really, really fast. I think it, you can see it here flying towards the camera. But the end result was this. And first I looked at, holy shit, it went almost through. But that's not the case. That's just a crack there. The actual dent is only like maybe like one fourth in. But still pretty good. And here are some of the reminings. The balls are all okay, they like cups explode. Okay, then we put half this. Okay, this is 91 millimeters, but it's also step forward on like sturdiness scale. And I'm not sure. On one point I thought that it's not going to explode, but now I'm not even sure. But uh, I'm sure that I'm not going to try today, because even on the previous one, we actually cracked the polycarbonate. It's 8 millimeters polycarbonate. I thought that it's like, it's like complete bulletproof for this application, but seems that no. And I'm going to order like much thicker polycarbonate. And I think I should also get some other protection. I'm not sure it's the sheet metal even like thick enough for the for this one because this sent huge shrapnel with a huge speed. So it's this is the most dangerous thing that I have ever seen here. But that being said, I want I have one more thing that I want to try. Uh, as we saw, these pressure bearings they really do take the pressure. But how about the normal bearing, when you load it on axial direction, how much can it take? That's what we are going to now test. Okay, close the shield. That has been useful today. And now the idea is that the outer ring is supported by the lower tool. And then the upper press tool is going to press the inner ring 
through the pairing. And we are going to measure how, how much pressure it can take on this direction. And as said, I'm not going to expect much. I'm going to say one ton. Okay, surprising the result. The uh, outer ring got also damaged. And the result was surprisingly good. Almost 15 tons. Okay, this is super interesting. The like inner ring and the balls don't fit out from the outer ring without the outer ring opening. So it explodes open and sends Send some shrapnel and one ball. One of the balls goes fast. Yeah, there is small part of shrapnel going really fast and this ball goes relatively fast. Yeah, but I'm going to upgrade the safety box to be stronger. And then we are going to try again the big bearing. And I think I get some liquid nitrogen also here. So if it doesn't go on like room temperature, then we are going to freeze the sucker down and then it's going to go. So subscribe the channel to see that. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.